the asia impairment scale is a scoring system used to define the level of sensory and motor impairment after a spinal cord injury according to the accepted international standards when evaluating a patient with asia impairment scale there are three main components motor exam sensory exam and anorectal examination the examination is performed while the patient is in supine in this video we will discuss about the motor examination the motor component determines muscle strength in 10 key myotomes in upper limb from c5 to t1 segments and in lower limb from l2 to s1 segments are tested for each segment the muscle strength is graded from 0 to 5 according to the mrc grading system to test the c5 myotome the elbow flexors that is the biceps and brachialis for grade 0 1 and 2 the patient's shoulder is in internal rotation and adducted the forearm is resting on the abdomen the elbow is 30 degree from full extension the wrist is in neutral pronation supination just below the navel support the patient's forearm palpate the flexors and ask the patient to bring the hand to his nose to check the grid 3 4 and 5 the shoulder is in neutral rotation adducted and in neutral flexion extension the elbow is fully extended and the hand is supinated for grid 3 ask the patient to flex the elbow against gravitational force for grid 4 and 5 ask the patient to flex the elbow pull against the volar aspect of the patient's wrist while bracing the shoulder to check the c6 myotome that is the wrist extensors extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis for grade 0 1 and 2 the shoulder is in internal rotation adducted and in neutral flexion extension the elbow is in full extension the wrist is in neutral pronation supination and fully flexed support the forearm palpate the extensors and ask the patient to dorsiflex the wrist For grade three, the shoulder is in neutral rotation, adducted, and in neutral flexion extension. The elbow is fully extended, and the wrist is fully pronated and flexed. Support the wrist. Ask the patient to dorsiflex the wrist. For grade four and five, the position is same as grade three, except the wrist is at ninety degree, fully extended. Ask the patient to resist the examiner's pull. Pull down on the hand in the direction of palmar flexion and ulnar deviation. To test the C7 myotome, that is the elbow extensors, triceps, for grade zero and one, the shoulder is in internal rotation and adducted. The forearm is resting on the abdomen. The elbow is 30 degree from full extension. The wrist is in neutral pronation supination. Support the forearm. Palpate the extensors and ask the patient to straighten the arm. For grade two, the shoulder remains in the same position, but the elbow is fully flexed. Support the arm and ask the patient to straighten the arm. For grade three, the shoulder is in neutral rotation, adducted, and ninety degree flexion. The elbow is flexed and the hand is by the ear. support the arm and ask the patient to straighten the arm for grade 4 and 5 the position is same as grade 3 but the elbow is 45 degree from full extension ask the patient to resist the examiner's push by trying to straighten the arm the examiner tries to flex the arm To test the C8 myotome, finger flexor to the distal phalanx of middle finger, flexor digitorum profundus. For grade 0, 1, and 2, the shoulder is in neutral rotation, adducted, and in neutral flexion extension. The elbow is fully extended. The wrist is in neutral pronation supination and neutral flexion extension. The metacarpophalangeal and proximal interphalangeal joints are extended. Stabilize the wrist in neutral with the MP and PIP joints extended. Palpate flexors and ask the patient to flex the DIP joint. For grade three, the shoulder and elbow are the same, and the wrist is fully supinated. 
Stabilize the wrist in neutral with the MP and PIP joints extended. Palpate the flexors and ask the patient to flex the DIP joint. For grade 4 and 5, the position is same as grade 3 except the DIP is fully flexed. Ask the patient to resist the examiner's push and try to extend the DIP joint. To test the T1 myotome, small finger abductors, abductor digiti minimi. For grade 0, 1 and 2, the shoulder is in internal rotation, adducted and in neutral flexion extension. The elbow is in full extension. The wrist is in full pronation and neutral flexion extension. The MP, PIP and DIP joints are fully extended. Press down lightly on the back of the hand and palpate the abductor. Ask the patient to move the little finger away from the fourth finger. For grade 3, the shoulder is in neutral rotation, adducted and at 15 degree flexion. The elbow is at 90 degree flexion and the wrist is pronated and in neutral flexion extension. Support the hand and ask the patient to abduct the little finger. For grade 4 and 5, the position will be same as grade 0, 1 and 2 except the little finger is fully abducted. Ask the patient to resist as the examiner pushes the little finger against the abduction. To check L2 myotome hip flexors iliopsoas for grade 0 and 1, the hip is in neutral rotation, neutral adduction abduction and 15 degree from full extension. The knee is in 15 degree from full extension. The examiner supports the thigh to eliminate the friction. Palpate distal to the anterior superior iliac spine. Ask the patient to flex the thigh. To check the grade 2, the patient position will be hip in external rotation at 45 degree flexion. The knee is flexed at 90 degree. The examiner will support the leg and ask the patient to flex the thigh. For grade 3, the hip is in neutral rotation, neutral adduction abduction and flexion extension. The knee is fully extended. Ask the patient to fully flex the hip and to keep the foot from dragging on the bed. Do not allow the flexion beyond 90 degree when examining the thoracolumbar or lumbar injuries. Support the leg of the patient. For grade 4 and 5, the testing position will be same as grade 3 except the hip is flexed to 90 degree. Then the examiner will ask the patient to resist the examiner's push. The examiner tries to extend the hip while bracing the hip on the opposite side. To check the L3 myotome, knee extensors, quadricep muscles. To check the grade 0 and 1, the hip is in neutral rotation, neutral adduction abduction and 15 degree from full extension. The knee is 15 degree from full extension. Support the knee to isolate the muscle and palpate the extensors. Ask the patient to extend the knee. To check grade 2, the hip is in external rotation at 45 degree flexion. The knee is flexed at 90 degree. Support the leg and ask the patient to straighten the knee. To check the grade 3, the hip is in the same position as grade 0 and 1 and the knee is partially flexed. Place the arm under the tested knee and grasp the other knee. This causes the tested knee to flex. Ask the patient to straighten the knee. To check the grade 4 and 5, the position will be same as grade 3 except the knee is 15 degree from full extension. Place the arm under the tested knee and grasp the other knee. Push down on the leg just proximal to the ankle and ask the patient to straighten the knee. To check the L4 myotome, 
ankle dorsiflexors tibialis anterior to check the grade 0 and 1 the hip is in neutral rotation neutral adduction abduction and neutral flexion extension the knee is fully extended the ankle is slightly plantar flexed palpate the dorsiflexors and ask the patient to bring the foot toward the knee to check the grade 2 the hip is in external rotation 45 degree abduction the knee is flexed at 90 degree and the ankle is fully plantar flexed ask the patient to bring the foot toward the knee to check the grade 3 the hip is in the same position as grade 0 and 1 except it is slightly flexed at knee ask the patient to bring the foot toward the knee to check grade 4 and 5 the position will be same as grade 3 except the ankle is fully dorsiflexed push against the dorsiflexed ankle and ask the patient to resist the push to check the l5 myotome long toe extensors which is extensor hallucis longus to check the grade 0 and 1 the hip is in neutral rotation neutral adduction abduction and flexion extension the knee is fully extended the ankle is in partial plantar flexion palpate the extensors of the long toe and ask the patient to bring the toe towards the knee to check the grade 2 the hip is in external rotation and in 45 degree abduction the knee is flexed at 90 degree and the ankle is neutral plantar flexion and dorsiflexion the big toe is in full plantar flexion ask the patient to bring the toe towards the knee to check the grade 3 the hip is in the same position as grade 0 and 1 except the knee is slightly flexed ask the patient to bring the toe towards the knee to check grade 4 and 5 the position will be same as grade 3 except the toe is fully extended push against the toe and ask the patient to resist the push To check the S1 myotome, ankle plantar flexors, which are gastrocnemius and soleus. To check the grade 0, 1 and 2, the hip is in external rotation at 45 degree flexion. The knee is flexed at 90 degree. Palpate the plantar flexors. Ask the patient to press down with the foot. To check the grade 3, the hip is in neutral rotation and flexed to 45 degree and the knee is fully flexed the foot is resting on a firm surface then ask the patient to lift the heel of the surface to check grade 4 and 5 the position will be same as grade 0 and 1 except the ankle is fully plantar flexed push against the flexed foot and ask the patient to resist the push.